Hi everyone, let's begin. In this video, we will learn how to create dummy variables in Python. So first of all, let me, uh, dummy variables, why we are using dummy variables? Because we understand regression only taking uh, new, only numerical values, continuous variables, no categorical variables. So for this purpose, we are going to convert categorical variables into dummy variable. So let me explain you, let me open a new notebook. Uh, this is my, I'm again, I'm showing, this is my documents folder and in this documents folder, Python is script. And here is one more folder that is plot charts. And here is, I want to create a new file that is, I had opened new file. So first of all, what we have to do, let me give a rename this file. I am just giving this file name is dummy variables, dummy variables, right? Dummy variables. And after that, after I had renamed this, right sorry not rename and uh, finally this is the in just a moment what happened dummy variables dummy variables and uh, rename this uh, okay 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 so i i will just give give this file name is categorical 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 right so rename this right and after that what we have to do let me let me mark down first and here is we want to give title is uh, dummy variables dummy variables and uh, let me run this so this is this is the dummy variables slide and first of all what we have to do we are going to import pandas pandas as pd pandas as pd right after that what we have to do we are going to open a file let's say i'm just giving you data frame equal to pd dot pd dot read underscore excel and what is my file name? My file name is regression, regression dot xlsx. This is my file name and make sure this file should be available in the same folder where you had put it, uh, where you want to store this file. So let me run this and after that, let me print this. What are the variables in this uh, file available? So you can see here, uh, multiple regression file. I want to apply multiple regression in this file on this on this uh, particular data. You can see he see here firm ID is one two three. Total how many firms data I have taken? Total I have taken fifty firms data. And after this performance, this is the performance of the data and performance is my dependent variable and independent variables are size and age. And the size is, we can see here, I had already explained you size is we are taking in the form of how many employees are working in that particular organization. And age means how old that organization, that is 40 years old, 41 years old, 15 years old, that organization. And I had, uh, I want to categorize my data on the basis of location. And location is I have taken Dehradun and Delhi. These are the two locations where these firms are located. So this is my categorical variable, right? Because regression will not read these. Uh, this one is the um, string variable. It would read only numbers. So we want to take categorical or we can say dummy variable in my data set. So what I have to do? I had already explained you here these kind of uh, things, these kind of functions we are going to use. But before that, I want to show you this thing. I don't want to see this index. So what I have to use, simply I'm going to use index underscore column because I don't want to see index underscore column is equal to zero. 
So let me once again run this and let me once again run this data frame. So now you can see the difference. Now this index column is not visible. Index column is missing. So now directly data set is starting from firm ID, performance, size, age, and location. So now what we have to do, I am going to use this particular function as I had already mentioned you here, unique functions. First of all, we want to check whether uh, what kind of variables are available. So I am using this one is the square brackets and here is I am I will write my this column heading location and what I will do dot I am just using unique unique this is the function so let me run this so it is showing showing this these this array is having Veradun Delhi and data type is object only two types of categories are available in this particular column so I just want to, I had already explained you because I want to get dummies. So I'm going to use this argument here is, so you can see here how we have to use this, 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 this particular function. So I will use pd dot get underscore what I'm going to use dummies, right? And where is this data frame, data frame, right? And you can see here, I had already explained you data frame and that is again, I have to use square bracket, not curly braces, square bracket. And uh, I am going to use this particular uh, column name that is location, location. I'm sure the same function I'm going to use here. So let me run this. And now you can see here 0, 01 Deradun is one, right? And in this Deradun, I'm in this particular form, right? We can compare with the previous data also. We can see here uh, Deradun is one, right? And Delhi, 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 that is after that, next four entries are Delhi. So we can see here, this one is the one that are doing, rest of these are zero, then it is assigned one number. And for Delhi, you can see here, these are the dummy variables number it has assigned. So I'm sure you understand how we have to create dummy variables in the regression model, or uh, I mean, how we have to assign the values. So I'm sure this video would be helpful. Keep watching. Thank you.